Let's see if we can kill a critter besides a baby buffalo. And see if we can, if it gives us a, the entry for that critter. That shot. Creature bestiary unlocked. Akia, press J to open a field guide. Progress. Creature traits. Oh, it does. Oh, that's cool, man. It does like a little sound bite of the noise it makes. Oh, this is neat. I really like this. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and we now have the Galileo update. It is out, and I'm very excited to give it a try uh, with the fishing. Uh, if you didn't read the patch notes or know about it, it, it adds uh, fishing to the game. Um, that's the main thing. It also adds a new um, bestiary, the, the, or bestiary, I guess that's how you pronounce it, that when you learn more about animals, then you are more effective. Uh, in defending against them or uh, offensively, defensively, that sort of thing, uh, which is cool. And uh, then it also added steam achievements, which I don't give a rat's patootie about. Who cares? <laughs> I don't care about that stuff anyways. Um, and I, I think that's the, those are the three like big things that they added to the game. So uh, we are back at our base here in the Ring Lake biome. Uh, however, we're in the south part of the biome. And yeah, the performance is... It still needs a little bit of work. Uh, just running around, it, you know, we still have a lot of stuttering and things. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, this game actually doesn't perform terrible for me when I'm away from this location. But when I'm here, it's just, it's not so great. Um, so, yeah. As far as our, our goals for this series, we still need to get a barn built, which we're not going to do in this episode. We're going to mess around with the fishing in this episode. But we need to get the barn built. Um, for, you know, for that, and then kind of figure out after that point, you know, where we're going to go from here. So, um, so yeah, let's get started with, with this whole fishing business here. I think the first thing we have to do is craft a fishing, uh, bench. So let's see here. Uh, and we're probably going to have to learn it too. Do I have, do I have talents? So I do have five new didn't we look at this hold on a second I thought we already applied these these points in the last episode didn't we I could have sworn we did did it add more with the with the DLC it must have added more with the DLC okay well um if that's the case let's look at the solo talents first we have five points okay so I kind of tended to favor offensive stuff in this playthrough you can see creature alert no I don't like that I think that ruins immersion in this game stick of destiny increase spear melee no I don't care about that we got the top gun the top spear we could do more damage with knives let's do that because we use the knife for melee a lot Reduce chance of sprain for fall damage. Sweet save or 10% food effects duration. Increase carry weight. That's in on, stockpile. Increase carry weight of wood or in stone. Decrease stamina cost for fire whacker use. And faster repair time with hammers. Hedgehogs deal more damage. Eh, hedgehogs are not worth it much in my opinion. All buildables weigh less in your inventory. Increase XP gain. No, I don't care about that. Um, increase wood, stone, and fiber yield. Increase wood from felling. Increase yield from mining ore deposits. That would be nice, I think. Let's, um... We have to take the wood, though, to get to that, which kind of sucks. Because, I mean, wood is so easy to get. Increase yields from hunting. Increase yields from hunting. Increase yield from harvesting by hand. Okay, so... 
What does this do again? Oh yeah, right, that's the animal alerts thing. I think that... Um, yeah, I guess I'd like to get more yield from mining, so... We're gonna just spend... Oh, I guess I didn't have... Damn it, I didn't have to put that extra point in there, but oh well, it's done now. Um, 10% yield for mining is going to be nice. Okay, so that takes care of the solo points. Now we have 15 normal talent points. Where's the one where we can make sticks from wood? That is, that's actually pretty useful. Resources. We see, unlocks the ability to turn wood into sticks. We have to, oh, we have to have one chevron in in the resources. Okay, so so we got more lumber yield, foraging, more yield from stone, uh, which is 20% now. That's nice. Now we can turn wood into sticks. Okay, that's going to be really handy. We still have eight points. What's this do? Increase inventory weight capacity. Uh, that would be good to have. Increase yield from oxide nodes. All right, what is this? This is uh, increase to base stamina. Ooh, that would be nice. Crouching movement speed. Slow, ooh, slows food decay in your inventory. Yeah, I like that idea. Planted crops grow faster. More nutrition from food. Where's the one where your crops don't spoil? Sturdy stocks. Craft a crop. Plots. Spoil slower when harvested. Crafted. Crop. Crafted crop plots. Crops. Spoil slower. Okay. Gotcha. But where's the one where crafted objects will gain evergreen planted? Planted. Yeah, this is the one. Planted crops will not wither. Uh, I don't think I have enough points to get to that, though. Unless we respect. Grown crops and crafted plots do not wither away after they have finished growing. Um, okay, so... To get to that... I think we have to... I'd like this just because I like, I'd like to have it. Eating refills hunger bar more rapidly. Um... So let's put a point into that. I think we have to put a point into this just to unlock what's in this tree. What does this do? Buffs from vegetables, uh, from vegetable only foods are increased. Oh, no, I don't care about that. Buffs from dried meat are increased. Food buffs persist longer. Crafted objects will gain fertilize one alteration. Increase to base stamina. Get up and go. I mean, we can always use more stamina. Let's, um... I, I want that maxed out. More yield from foraging. So this requires two chevrons and a star. That would seem to indicate that we have two chevrons and a star now. So why is this still not available to us? Hmm. Do we have to have two points in that? Well, here, this is a good one no matter what. So let's put... We only need one point for that. What does this do again? Oh, yield from forging. Okay, I don't care about that. Okay, well, that, that's it. We can't, uh, I don't understand, because we have, oh, wait a minute, maybe that's, maybe that means this bar has to get to the end in order to get to that level. And this is, the, okay, I see. Okay, so that's our current rank. That's what we have to work to get to. So we, we wouldn't have had enough points no matter what to do that. That's too bad. Okay, well, we have one point left. Um, and this is going to be nice though. 50% rate of food spoiling is going to be super useful. No, no denying that. Don't really care about crops growing faster.
Um, okay, so let's use our final point to increase our... This would be useful for, you know, getting bones for epoxy. So, yeah, why don't we do that? Very good. Okay, that spins all of our points. Tech tree. So, the fishing bench. What tier... I, I didn't read the notes verbatim. I just kind of perused them. So, keep that in mind. But I don't know if... Oh, do we still have to... We don't have to learn that, do we? Really? We still have to spend a point on that? That's bullshit. <laughs> okay, not that it that matters. I mean, we have 82 points left, so <laughs> I don't really care. I mean, it would suck in the early game, but... Okay, so let's see. Where's the fishing bench at? Is, is that a tier 2 item? Maybe it's tier 2. Skinny bench, trophy bench, fishing bench. Yeah, okay, basic fishing bench. We want the tackle box. Apparently that... We can store our fishing stuff in it, and it keeps the fish fresh. Uh, not really worried. I, I'm not really interested in the fishing traps. I mean, I know they would be useful, but uh, we want this stuff. Okay, we want a refined wood fishing rod, a basic lure pack, and an advanced lure pack. Because the better rod, from what I read, allow uh, gives you a better chance for higher quality fish, which in turn um, means you get you know better buffs and that sort of thing from them. I mean, you know, what the hell? Let's just do the, the fishing traps. we got the points. We might as well. There's no reason not to. Okay, cool. So, volatile substance. What is that? A highly explosive substance made from locally found materials native to Icarus. Hmm. So, do did they, did they add, like, new explosives to the game? They must have. Let's just take a quick look and see what else is in here. There's the fishing trophy belt. Let's do that. Oh, nice. Carved wood furniture. I think that's new, too. I read something about new stuff. Stone statue set? Sure. What the hell? Let's do it. A painting set. Oh, that's... Okay, that's the DLC they came out with, too. Okay. No, I don't care about that. Not so much. At least not at this point. All right. Cool, lots of fun stuff to play with here. Rustic decoration bench. Yeah, what the hell, let's look at that too. Strength enhancement tonic, stamina enhancement tonic. Those are new. We have 70 points, sure. Let's take it. I'm going to grab this volatile substance too, because if we can make explosives, that could come in handy. All right, let's look at tier three. Platinum crossbow, that's nice. An aquarium. A handy fish tank for keeping your favorite fin friends around, powered by biofuel. Let's get it. Smoke grenade, frag grenade. Oh, that's what the volatile substance is for. A thousand explosive damage and fifteen hundred explosive damage radius. I'm trying to think where we would use this in this game. Maybe when we're fighting the worms when we're putting the thumper down? I wonder though if that would do damage to the thumper as well though. Let's try this. I want to try it, see. See what it does. Okay. Just looking at the rest of that stuff. Okay, let's go look at tier four. They have a composite spear now. Oh, that thing looks wicked. Nice. Titanium spear. If I do a new, uh, another playthrough, which I probably will at some point, I'd like to focus on spears this time around because they're supposed to be pretty good now. They weren't that good when the game first came out. Prototype Thumper. Growth Fertilizer. A large advanced aquarium. Very A very fancy fish tank for keeping your favorite fin friends around. 
Must be connected to both power and water. A very fancy large fish tank for keeping your favorite fin finned friends around. Okay. Yeah, sure. What the hell? We'll take it. Um... Okay, I think that's... I think that's all we'll do for now. I mean, we still have a ton of points. There's just no... No end of points. So, um... Let's go ahead and stop there. This is cool, man. Um, so now, fishing... Crafting bench. We're gonna probably have to put that up here. Uh, maybe we can put it right up against that window. Well, no, I don't think I want to do that because that's supposed to be our storage area if, if we want to expand our storage. You know, I was going to put some lights up here. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just, I'm kind of thinking here for a second. That's our salt station. Who left the door open? Um, is this garden ready to harvest, by the way? Yes, it is. Yeah, let me get this. Let me get this garden harvested real quick. Okay, so we got the garden taken care of. Um, so yeah, I think we'll put our our fishing bench right in this spot here. So my guess is we're probably going to have to make it in the crafting bench. Basic fishing bench. Was there? A, oh. Actually, was there a better version of the fishing bench? We got that in tier three. Yeah, we got that in tier three. Or tier two, I'm sorry. Uh, is there a better version in tier three? Kitchen bench. Because it says basic fishing bench, which implies that there's maybe an advanced version, but I don't see it. Alteration bench. I don't remember it saying in the patch notes that there were was more than one type of fishing bench. Yeah, okay, so I'm, I'm going to assume at this point that that's, that's the only one we can do. All right, what do you need? You need five iron ingots and 12 copper nails. Looks like we might need to smelt some iron here. Uh, copper needles are going to be down here. Here we go. Let's grab all those. Pretty well lined up and right in the center, I'd say. Okay, so the left side is used for crafting and the right side is used for filleting. Press E to fillet fish. Oh, and they added a whole bunch of species of new fish, too, which is very cool. Okay, so let's go to here. Um, we want to craft the refined fishing rod, so we're going to need refined wood and some rope. Uh, we should have rope in here, and refined wood will be back down in the carpentry bench. Beautiful. Okay, so we got the rod. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> All right. 
Now, um, we need to make some lures. So, lures. Deployables. Trap, trap, tackle box. Oh, yeah, let's make a tackle box. Wood, tree sap, and iron nails. Okay, so that's a deployable, so we can set it down and use it to store three lures and two in either individual or stacks of fish. Okay, that's cool. All right. Um, can you have, you could probably have multiples of these, I would imagine. Why not, right? Yeah. Okay. So we can have up to six lures and four fish with both of these. And of course, you could, you could even make more if you wanted to at some point. Do those things stack? They don't. Okay, I kind of figured they wouldn't. Oh, here, actually. Let's put this over here. A place for everything, everything in its place. Okay, cool. Now, let's uh, take a look at lures. A gold ore lure will grant gold ore lure when atta attached to an item. 25% quality of caught fish, 20% fishing capture zone size. Scorpion tail lure. 35% length of caught fish, 20% capture zone size. So that's going to be larger fish. That's going to be higher quality fish. A black wolf. Wait. We have black wolves in the game now? That makes the weight larger. Oh, so did the, I must have missed that. Did they add new animal species along with the bestiary? Oh, speaking of which, how do we do that? Oh, I need to get my air tank. Oh, that's right. I don't have a, a slot for water in here. What time is it? Let's sleep. Um, air tank. Okay. Um... So bestiary, how do we do bestiary? Is that something we have to learn? I know I'm getting a little sidetracked because fishing's what we're doing, but... Or is it something we just kind of know from... Do, 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 settings, continue, return, report. Accolades, map. I never looked at this. <laughs> Hunting, survival... Balance map, tech pre, crafting, inventory. I'll have to... It's supposed to be a book, which suggests that we craft it. There isn't a search function on here, is there? I don't think so. Seems to me like that would be a tier one item. All right, guys. Um. I, I looked through the crafty bench, I looked through my inventory, I looked at the, I uh, perused the patch notes again, I didn't want to spend time reading it verbatim because I'm in the middle of recording an episode here, and I, I didn't see any, anything that says how to get the the bestiary book, I wonder if it just happens automatically when, um, these are all the stats, you know, when you, when you kill a critter and then it pops up or something maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. You certainly can let me know in the comments if you want to, but let's get back to, to fishing for, for now. Um, so we were looking at the lures. 
white jelly lure. 80% chance to catch rare fish, 10% freshwater fish quality. Length of where do we get saltwater fish? There is no there's no oceans in, in Icarus. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Poison sack lure, 80% chance to catch rare. Oh man, there's just so many freaking options here. It seems to me like probably though the further down the better they are. Can be attached to. Okay, well let's just try this gold lure. And I don't know, are these a one-time use thing or do they do they wear well they must be reusable because you can put them in the tackle box, maybe. I don't know. Let's grab some gold ore. I'm gonna craft a couple of these. Do they stack? They do not. Okay. So let's go let's go give this a try. Okay, so left mouse button is reel in. R is change lure. No lure available. Uh, oh, I didn't pull them out of the thing. <laughs> Whoops. Try this out. So left reels in. Is there a uh, like a set the hook mechanic on this or not? What am I supposed to... Oh. Okay, I get it. You have to keep the box... And this is like simulating the fish. Oh, this is weird, man. Simulating the fish fighting you. How interesting. Oh, shit. This is not easy. We got him! <laughs> nice! A spotted snapper. New fish caught. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that guy. Completely wrong species for a freshwater lake, but that's beside the point. <laughs> we got ourselves a red snapper, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. Oh, that is, that's challenging, man, to try and keep that, um, that little box with the fish. Okay, so... Um, this is a 43% quality freshwater common fish. And it doesn't look like it, it consumed... Wait, did we have four lures or three? I don't remember now. I think we only had three lures, right? Okay, so what we... If we weren't at the base, then what we would do is... Put the fish in here. And then this will keep it, I think, from spoiling, or at least slow it way down. All right, nifty. Let's try this again.
So it doesn't seem to really matter how far out you cast in terms of how long it takes to reel it in. It's all about keeping that box on the fish. I, I'm, I think that's cool, but I wish we... I wish there was a, a deal where we could, um... Yeah, he's gonna get away! Where we could work the, the pole, you know, instead of playing a mini-game. I mean, this isn't, this isn't bad, though. It's, it's kind of fun. A spotted snapper. Press J to open field guide. Oh, this is the bestiary. It's J like the journal. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Very cool. We figured it out. Okay, fishing record. We've caught the spotted snapper. Effective. Oh, it tells us which lures to use. That is useful. Okay. Really useful. So fiber lures and rotten meat lures. Olympus sticks, fresh water. Uh, these fish have spots in form in as a form of camouflage, which helps them blend in with their surroundings and avoid predators. Um, by the way, Icarus devs, just so you know, red snappers or any kind of snapper is a saltwater fish. Just saying. Just saying. Um, so none of these are filled in. I was just wondering if it had all the critters that we've, you know, we've already killed a bazillion times, but apparently not. So that's going to be really cool. Uh, plus, you know, we'll get buffs uh, concerning these animals once we start learning more about them. I really like this. This is really neat. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and stick you in here. Uh, control click doesn't seem to work on that. Wait, why am I still holding them in my hand? I just put them in there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see how this one spoiled a little more because I hang, hang, uh, hung on to it longer than I should have? Okay. So I'm, gu I'm guessing that these lures have a durability on them. Because it's got the like the little durability line. So that's what the deal is. They don't break, they're not one time use, they just have a durability, which makes sense. Okay, let's see if we can catch something else. We're gonna do a really long cast. Woo! Way out in the middle of the lake. I wonder if that actually will make it longer for me to reel it in. That looks like a little one. Okay, we got we got a little bit better though with reeling it in. All right, so why don't we can we pick this up when it's got stuff in it? Ooh, look at that, we can. So it's because it's our tackle box, right? Okay. You know what? We should actually probably have the fishing bench in the kitchen now that I think about it. We might have to rearrange a few things. Okay, so... Fresh water, fish, filet... And there's a lot of fish. Crimson piranha. How do I find... Spotted snapper is what we're looking for. It doesn't show up. Is it because I... Do I have to put this in here first? Oh. Oh, it just does it automatically. Okay. Never mind. Plus 15 food when consumed. A neatly trimmed filet ready for cooking. Recipes requiring components. 
Okay. Um, let's grab our other fish. See, I can control click out of there, but I can't control click into there. I think that's probably a little bug. That doesn't make sense. Okay, so we'll make a couple more fillets here. Oh man, we're gonna have fish and chips for dinner, ladies and gentlemen. Yum! I don't know what we're gonna use for tartar sauce though. Maybe gunpowder? Some pretty spicy tartar sauce. Uh, okay, so let's go to our stove here. And fresh water filet curry. So fish chunk stew. Oh, nice. Fish pie. Ooh, fish pie. You need saltwater fish for that. Crumbed saltwater fillet. Yeah, that's saltwater fish too. Wasn't there already a fish sticks recipe in here somewhere? I don't know. Maybe not. Fish chunk stew. That sounds good. Um so it's fresh water fillet curry. That's 225, 15, 15. So it looks like they removed the original fish curry and now made it fresh water fillet curry. 225, 15, 15. 225, 10, 10. Oh, and they added more health and stamina regeneration to, to that. So we don't have fish curry anymore. Interesting. Okay. Um, so let's make some of this. Connected to power. Ooh. I bet you we have some generators out of fuel. Um, biofuel. Some of them are obviously running. Uh oh we have a we have a power overload we're gonna have to add more generators to use our stove we are gonna have ourselves some fish stew come hell or high water even if we have to take and put the generator right in the middle of the house to do it so that's exactly what we're gonna do Spent, I want to put that somewhere where I can reach it. Put that back down. Hook the power up. Hook the water up. There! Oh my gosh, what a bunch of screwing around that was. Okay. So, now, I want to make fish stew, so we need... Oh wait, fish chunks. How do we do fish chunks? Is that something we do over here? Fish chunks. Those are all fillets. How in the hell do I make fish chunks? It would either be in the fishing bench or in the cooking bench, I would think, but I don't see a recipe for fish chunks. Oh, nothing's ever easy. All right, let's grab that. Let's at least make one of these, because we need to eat anyway. Mm -mm. Okay, we got that fish water curry business. If I right click on this, consume, da -da 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 -da. yeah, I don't know how to make fish chunks. Maybe, oh, maybe we do it in the kitchen bench. Pick 
pickled fresh water fillet. Man, there are so many food recipes in this game now. It's really cool. Uh, it's almost overwhelming, in fact. Yeah, I don't know. How do you make fish chunks, you guys? Do you know how? Let me know in the comments if you would. Uh, but I guess we'll just turn the rest of this... Fish chunks. Provides a fish chunk stew modifier for 900 seconds. Does it just automatically... Let's grab some corn and squash. Nope. No, there's got to be a way to make fish chunks, so I have to figure that one out, I suppose. But here, let's just cook up the rest of this fish because it's about ready to go bad. On, on its way out here. Good. We, we, cap, we got that one cooked before it really went bad. Oh, this one's... We still have one more, don't we? Um, Alright, we'll just cook this straight up then. Alright, well, we... <laughs> we managed to... We managed to make a, a, a couple of fish meals, but what a bunch of screwing around. I'm going to have to troubleshoot uh, the power grid situation to figure out what's going on with that. Um, I don't know. It, it seemed like it, it should not have been an overload situation because this only requires a thousand watts and this guy was 2,500 watts when we picked it up. So something else is not quite hooked up correctly here. So I'll, like I said, I'll have to troubleshoot that and figure out what's going on with that later. Uh, but anyways, guys, we're going to wrap up the episode here. That was a lot of fun. I'm really liking this new update here with all the fishing. Looking forward to um, continuing to mess with that. And, um, you know, checking out the bestiary. In fact, if we... Let's see if we can kill a critter besides a baby buffalo and see if we can, if it gives us a, the entry for that critter that shot creature bestiary unlocked akia press j to open a field guide Where is it? Do we have to go harvest it? Okay. So it says we know 1% about the creature, but why doesn't it show the picture? Do we have to get to a certain percentage before the picture shows up? I mean, it shows it kind of here. What's this? Progress. Creature traits. Oh, it does. Oh, that's cool, man. It does like a little sound bite of the noise it makes. Oh, this is neat. I really like this. Okay. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up today's episode for Icarus. So, um, I will, uh, I'm not sure exactly what we'll do in the next episode. I need to I need to troubleshoot this situation. And we'll probably try out some more fishing this evening, discover some more species for part of that time and and go start, you know, uh, killing critters as cruel as that is. Well, you know, it's a Chris, you gotta do that anyway. To start filling out our bestiary and yeah, having some more fun in the game. Uh, we do need to get the barn built, so that's also on the to-do list. 
and we'll go from there. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye.